Hello everybody. Um, Christmas day is over and to be honest I did not feel all that well. I had a stomach bug that held me down. I'm still not feeling all the right but you know, gonna keep on going. Uh, kids had lots of fun unpacking. I also got something. I'm wearing one of my new jerseys. I'll look at it closer. It's a, it's a Chicago Blackhawks jersey but I'll do a video maybe tomorrow or even a little bit later in the week showing you the I got three uh, things that I would like to show you two jerseys and uh, one other thing but let's stay there but now for now I want to continue with my Lusk short story uh, we've been looking at the Reebok jerseys uh, this one and the other one I think is somewhere down in the pile here um, and how everything imploded at the end of 98 and come 99 Pretty much all our stars have been sold off, uh, only a few have been retained that actually they were somewhat regular uh, bigger names but they actually became big names in themselves during the next two years which was the biggest surprise. The quality in the squad was actually overall quite good, they just had needed to find each other. And um, in addition to that, uh, we got there was one guy that we bought who was a native uh, native of Linz, Christian Stumpf, who played for Rapid in their 95 96 season where they won championship, went to the European Cup Winners' Cup final, and all that kind of, kind of stuff. And he actually played for a local rival before, um, but now he came back, uh, played with Lask. And I think he kind of said that he always, despite going for. Um, FC Linz, or first, however you want to call them, uh, that he actually was more always in the last camp. And he became very, very quickly um, a very popular player uh, with among the fans. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. You don't need to see the light, but I wanted to see here more jerseys. And yeah, so this was one thing. And then, of course, there was a um, supplier change. We switched from Reebok to Puma and I don't have the home shirt of that uh, second half of 98-99 season which was basically a white shirt but instead of having the red it just had black bars going very similar to uh, if you look at the same season the Lazio home shirt uh, was light blue with black and the last had, had, had just white and black um, with the Spitz sponsor. Um, so we saw that one and then we got an away jersey that was absolutely unique and that's what we want to look at it is this very interesting puma shirt it is a black jersey with this band here and a red top and i remember seeing it initially and finding all kinds of things wrong with it. I know this was a test game against Rapid. This was the first time where we, uh, I actually went to the stadium to watch this test where we actually want to see how is the new team behaving and yeah they lost the game but they played in these new jerseys and at first it absolutely looked weird to us. I mean so right on top and everything else black. However as it turns out the jersey itself became a very beloved one amongst Lusk fans but before we talk about that let's talk about quickly what the jersey features that I find wrong I mean of course it has the Spitz sponsor that I would like to have it's a unpersonalized the number was here and then the name was in the red field my brother actually caught one of these and I'll tell you the story uh, later but what I never liked is that the two logos were put up high here and I actually made, I think, this last logo now bordered in black. Note here, it is bordered in red. I don't have the away jersey, it was bordered in white then, and then suddenly this new logo is bordered in black, and I actually like this version best, to be honest. And if you go it, da, 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 it would fit perfectly within this band. It's just this logo is a little bit too large, but I think this could have been made. I think if the logos were in this band, this would make a whole lot more sense than putting them up here. Uh, they are riding way too high. This particular version that I got, and I not I'm actually not sure when I got this shirt. I wanna say, I wanna say it was a Christmas present uh, because the one flaw here is that the black line here becomes thinner. And if I would have had the choice of getting it, 
I'm sure I would not have gotten this because this bugs me. I'm, I don't know, I'm a perfectionist in that uh, type of, you know, for those type of things. And I honestly don't know if I got it in 99 or I got it in 2000. I probably got it at the beginning of 99 uh, after the jersey became a uh, hit. I actually, once I got used to it, I mean, it looks weird. I mean, the, look at the sleeves, the red, the white and the black. But I actually lo always love the color, the red color with some black and white, with black and white here. So, I mean, it makes some sense. It's just this, just the red shoulder looks weird to me. But it actually in many ways became a go-to last shirt for me if I don't want to wear black and white stripes. Um, and it was a successful shirt because um, in the cup competition we actually um, managed to go to the semi-finals where we played against Rapid away and it was no one gave us a chance but we beat Rapid 2-0 and that was at the stadium and that semi-final we played in these jerseys and they quickly became uh, very famous exactly for that win I mean you don't win in that stadium. Funnily enough, um, just a year later, I want to say, roughly a year later, we again we had the last um, last the, the, um, match of the season also at the Rapid in their stadium, and it was not the, it was nothing to play for any, anymore. But we said we're gonna look at it anyway. Um, we went there, and then in the last minute. Uh, from midfield a player of ours uh, scored uh, just it was a nil nil and then it's, it went one nil and since it was the last game of the season the player could get rid of the jersey because it's clear we were gonna get new jerseys and they threw them in the stands and my brother caught one of these I'm very jealous but this was a really cool thing for him I was I was happy slightly jealous but I was happy for him that he got this uh, it was more wow cool of course it's it was very sweaty. Let's look a little bit about the specifics. I mean, the shirt itself, Puma shirt, very thin material. It's almost see-through. Um, the weird thing here when you wear it is the this part here, this seam on the inside. If you look at it, it's kind of thick, and you feel it when you wear it. This is a part that I don't like, but it actually is very breathable uh, it doesn't have ventilation per se but if you look at the material there are many dots it is very light it's for the time very light weight and very breathable in, in, in a way i actually always like to wear this jersey i was always comfortable to wear yeah so we won the cup semi-final in that one i'm going a little bit back and forth and we made it to the final we played also in that shirt but we lost in the penalty shootout um, although we had two big chances in overtime that we should have made and finally win a title for the first time since 1965 again a little bit bittersweet taste but you know if you miss the first two penalties by your uh, two best players there's really not much chance and um unfortunately from that moment on it was all about selling away. So this jersey was worn in spring 99 and then for a whole 99-2000 season this was the away jersey and we're gonna look at the home jersey from this 99-2000 season next because that one was not a white jersey with just two black bars here that was a proper Lask jersey although with a slight twist to the pattern. We'll talk about that the next time. Um, let me know if you like this jersey, what you think about it in general. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to my channel right about here. If you uh, want to see more videos like these and also check out the playlist that I'm posting here. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.